A couple folks asked me to do a bit of a how-to video on this song, Feathered Indians, that I did uh, a little while back. Um, it's a cover of a song by uh, Tyler uh, Ch Childers, I think it is. I'm going to say Childers. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And um, so, one of the things I really like about doing covers is it's forcing me to think outside of the... The, the songs that I write and the bad habits that I have um, but also like my voice I can only sing certain range and some songs are beyond my range so I have to to kind of solve that puzzle and see how I can make it work and um, so if, if you were to go to like the the guitar tabs uh, app and um, and and pull down the chords uh, it's gonna say that you should uh, capo at the fifth fret and um, I'll go ahead and do that real quick here. And then you're going to play, the chords are pretty much D, and then A, and then G. Right, so now if you don't like using a capo, that's, I think that's just a G that's been inverted or, or pl played up the neck. Um, that's the nice thing about the, the capo, right? So if you uh, are better at a certain chord, um, holding chords a certain way on the banjo, there's nothing wrong with uh, bringing the capo up the neck and, and just changing the chord shapes but getting the same same sound you would otherwise. Now, so I think the original song is in this key. Now, it's a little high for me, so I'm going to try to sing and you can see see how uncomfortable I am seeing it. My buckle, <laughs> well, my buckle makes impressions on the inside of her thigh. There are little feathered Indians where we tussled through the night. If I'd known she was religious, then I wouldn't have came stone to the house of such an angel, too fucked up to get back home. Should have warned you if I uh, got sensitive ears, there's an F-bomb in that first chorus. But, uh, <laughs> oh well. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit outside of my comfort range. I mean, I, I, I like singing that high, but I don't think a lot of people like hearing me sing that high. So um, I like to, I can bring it down and this is the really cool thing about using a capo is without having to transpose your chords and change the the chords that you're comfortable with you can just move the capo up or down the neck and just kind of keep trying the song out in different ways and, until you figure out which way you're comfortable um, now as luck would have it my banjo has um, some railroad spikes so when I was just now playing with the capo on the fifth I had a railroad spike up on the I think it was the tenth right and now I also have a railroad spike on the 9th, which means that if I capo on the 4th, that should sound nice. And of course, um, when you use a capo, don't trust that the, the, the strings are going to sound good. Uh, you're going to want to still retune a little bit because the strings get stretched out as they uh, push down on, the, on those frets. There's nothing wrong with using a, an electric tuner because there's no such thing as cheating if your goal is to get right to it and start singing. Um, so now I'll try it again, but this time see if it sounds better for my voice, right? So. Well, my buckle makes impressions on the inside of her thigh. There are little feathered Indians where we tussled through the night. If I'd known she was religious, then I wouldn't have came stone to the house of such an angel, too fucked up to get back home. So I think that works a lot better for me. And, and that's the first step of learning a song for me, is um, finding a key that I'm comfortable singing in. And each song is going to present different challenges for that. Sometimes it just doesn't sound right to move the capo all the way up the neck to get that, that one right key that I want to sing in. And I have to actually go ahead and try different chord shapes. And um, I'll talk about that more in other videos. But uh, this one's pretty straightforward. For me, 
I just uh, bring it down a half step from that capo from the fifth fret to the fourth fret. So that's why if you can't compare me to the recording, my, my voice is a little deeper than um, uh, Childer sings. So, um, all right, so what's next, right? Okay, so we're gonna use the chords. I'll, I'll kinda, you, you can probably pull the chords off of um, Ultimate Guitar or whatever app you're using, but uh, I'll go ahead and read off the chords that I'm playing. Um, so it's pretty much, the, the verse is straightforward, it's, it's D, A, G, so it's, uh, ooh, it goes uh, D, then A, then G, and then G again, and D, A, G, right, so the, the riff that, that we play for the intro and the break, it's pretty much the same too, so. So it's a... D, A, G. Stay with the G. All right, so I'm mostly focusing, you can just strum. You can, uh, I'll, I'll sing along with a simple strum. Well, my buckle makes impressions on the inside of her thigh. There are little feathered Indians where we tussled through the night. If I'd known she was religious, then I wouldn't have came stoned to the house of such an angel too fucked up to get back home. So, once you've got that, then you can start to add a little rhythm. Um, you know, when in doubt, start with the basic frailing strum. So it's a strike, strum, thumb, strike, strum, thumb. Right. Strike, strum, thumb, strike, strum, thumb, strike, strum, thumb. Most claw hammer or frailing banjo videos are gonna, or channels are gonna teach you this at one point as a, as a starter. And there's a reason it's a starter. It's a good, uh, it's a good bass line. So I'll just start with that. One, one two. Well, my buckle makes impressions on the inside of her thigh. There are little feathered Indians where we tussled through the night. If I'd known she was religious, then I wouldn't have came stone to the house of such an angel too fucked up to get back home. Virginia smoking spirits on the roof. She asked, Ain't anybody told you that them things are bad for you? I said, Many folks had warned me, there's been several people try. Up till now, there ain't been nothing that I couldn't leave behind. So, if that's all you end up doing, then that's pretty, pretty fine, I think. Um, it makes you a good banjo player in my book. So, um, what do I do after that, right? So I, I, I've made a lot of other videos on how to embellish um, your basic playing, and a lot of people, they'll, they'll see me go, ask me for some tabs and I never ever have tabs um, what I have are a bunch of little uh, tricks um, you know most most of what I'm doing on this is very little uh, left hand dynamics and by left hand dynamics I mean like hammer-ons and pull-offs and... right because the left hand can do quite a bit but for this song um, using the banjo mostly as a rhythm instrument, as I tend to do with a lot of covers, um, especially if I'm kind of learning as I record. Uh, but I can get a lot of mileage with the uh, the right hand technique. So, you know, I'll start with a little full chord hammer on. Right? So. So I do the hammer on, and then I do a drop thumb. Right? 
so a lot of it's a strum and then a drop thumb and the drop thumb is just to give a little you know kind of break up the chord and and kind of arpeggio like uh, way it's really just a it's a way to break up the rhythm so it's just not one two and three four and it can be like one and two and three and four and and that little bit I think kind of mirrors how the song is supposed to go and you kind of you can impro improvise and whatever works good with how you're singing, whatever complements how you're singing, that, that's what's important. Still the G. D. A. G. So then I go to the chorus. Um, now the chorus says to do the A7, but I, I don't know, the A7 just doesn't sound right on the banjo for me, so I just play an A, and that works fine. And then, so the chorus is pretty much, uh, you can break it into two parts. The chorus, the first part of the chorus is A to G, A to G, four times, A to G, So I'll just focus on that a little bit, right? So it goes, Hold me close, my dear. Sing your whispering song softly in my ear. And I will sing along. So, as you can tell from the, the left-handed technique here, it's really basic. I'm just doing a bar chord, that A, and then the G. And I'm just letting my hand do the... And I know it's one thing for me to say, oh, I'm just doing stuff with my right hand. Again, I, I've made a lot of different videos and um, I could take hours talking about it, but um, if, if all you can get through is just a basic strum, that, that's, that's good enough. You can just go, hold me close, my dear. Sing your whispering song. Or even just the basic frailing strum. S Softly in my ear And I will sing along Alright, and then we go to the second half And it kind of goes right after you say Sing along Honey, tell me how your and This is the hard part How your love runs true And how I can always count on you be there when the bullets fly I'll run across the river just to hold you And then we'll go right into the break Tonight Alright, so I'll do that again So it goes uh, Honey, tell me how your And I don't bother with the fancy strum I'm, I'm just going to do straight strums for this How your And then it goes B minor A G that A and the G is easy. The hard part's that B minor because it's a full. Uh, you're basically doing the A minor shape, but up a whole step. You know, just kind of zoom in on that. If uh, so, I'm kind of uh, pinky fingers on that uh, first string, um, fourth fret. Pointer fingers on the third string, third fret. Ring fingers on the third string, fourth fret. And the middle fingers on the fourth string, fourth fret. So it's just your A minor pattern, just. So if you're going to strum it, you go, Tell me how your love runs true. Do that again. Love runs true. B minor, A, G. And how I can always count on you. The hard part's getting the right word to, to land on the chord strum, right? And you go, how I, and the can is on the B minor. How I can always count on you. And then you then you go to the the A and then I'll I'll just continue my strumming. To be there when the bullets fly, I run across the river just to hold you. And then you sing tonight as you go into your break. Tonight.
Magic again is just the D A G um, gone through twice. So I'll do that uh, chorus one more time, right? Honey, tell me how your love runs true, and how I can always count on you to be there when the bullets fly. I run across the river just to hold you tonight. See, I'll do the start from the beginning chorus. Go home. Ah, <laughs> I'll, I'll start from uh, looking over West Virginia, smoking spirits on the roof. She asked, Ain't anybody told you that them things are bad for you? I said, Many folks had warned me, there's been several people try. Up till now, there ain't been nothing that I couldn't leave behind. Hold me close, my dear G. Sing your whispering song softly in my ear, and I will sing along. Honey, tell me how your love runs true, and how I can always count on you. Be there when the bullets fly. I run across the river just to hold you tonight. So a lot of that melody is I'm just striking different different strings. And a lot of that's just discovery. Um, I'm just kind of, um, I start with the basic frailing strum. And I just try hitting different strings to see if I can derive a melody out of it. Right? So I'm just going second, or no, third, fourth, second, third, and then I do the hammer on. You kind of see the pattern from there but uh just experiment with it and see what melody you can make happen with this hand uh, but just know the chords are pretty straightforward and and the only real tricky thing i'm doing here is i'm um, just capoing on the fourth instead of the fifth but the chord chords are pretty straightforward you just got to know your d your a and your g and then in your chorus you just need to know your a and your g and then your b b minor a, G, right, and then you put them all together. So, um, now, uh, honestly, I, I, I kind of ran through a lot of it. Uh, go to Ultimate Guitar. Um, I use the iPhone app, but you, I think they have a website, and you can um, find, like, some chords that the community has posted. Um, so, and I think, I think that works nice. I think it works nice because it is a capo song, so... It's um, it sounds a little more delicate uh, because it, the banjo is being played at a higher key. So, hope that helps.